Hey everybody, it's Matt Mahar here. Um, I'm going to take you guys through how to get into o OTP game. Uh, there's a couple different ways to get into an OTP game, so we're just going to cover that off right now. Um, for people out there that don't know, OTP stands for Online Team Play. So with Online Team Play, as I set this camera up here, um, Online team play means that you can go into a game and you can choose a team from any league, and all the players, uh, all the players can be human controlled. So as as many human controlled, uh, as many users as there is online, um, those guys can all control their own player, and uh, everyone can play uh, uh, together on one team. So this can be used. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you're not going to be able to take your uh, be a pro player in there, but it's a lot of fun to go in there and play with a, a whole bunch of other human-controlled players. It's a good way to practice with your teammates, so uh, we're going to show you exactly how we can do all that. So I select my online. Um, the first way to get in there is I go to online game modes, and I go to online team play. So from online team play, it's going to bring me into this lobby, and there's a whole bunch of options here. I can do an unranked quick match search. Um, I can invite to an Xbox Live party, I can play a friend, and I can do a custom match search. So custom match search um, allows you to go in and change all of the different settings that you want to change. So you can, um, you, know, you, can, you can make it so that there's only two or three of you playing or six of you. Um, any way you want it, you can set it up. So you set all these settings up, and then from here you can spawn your... Uh, you can spawn your games. So I'm going to make mine ranked, and then it'll spawn in, and you can see here you start searching for your opponent. So that's one way to do it. Also notice that when you come into the lobby over here on the left, uh, we have a whole bunch of information that rotates through. So you can see all the people online, the people uh, in a game. It'll also tell you uh, how people are searching for people, how many versus games there are going on. Um, it's going to tell you how many OTP games are in progress and shootout games. So basically giving you all the information you need to know so you can decide where you want to go play based on the amount of people that are there. So that's one way to get into online team play. Um, pretty simple. You select online and you go to the online team play under the online game modes area. The next way to do it is you go into community. So there's two options in community. We have online team play community. This is a shortcut to the online team play lobby room, um, which was everyone should be f familiar with from last year. So if you select online team play community, it's going to take you into the OTP lobby room. And in here, now it's just me on here, um, but if there's other players, they'd be all listed here, uh, everyone's gamer tag. And from here, you can do a couple things. Uh, what's cool about this is you can, um, inv you can, oops, wrong button. Um, you can, Click RB and it'll bring up the player your your hub, and from here you can invite your friends to uh, to come and meet you in the OTP lobby room, and then you guys can create your own session and go into that. So uh, over here is a way you saw all your friends. Uh, you can go to your EA Sports World friends, your or, or EA Sports World recommends. So I'll click on EA Sports World recommends, and it brings up all the guys that are in our test environment right now, and I can select one of these guys, and what'll happen is they'll get an invite to go play a game and then when they hit sele they select yes I'll go play we automatically get taken into the side select screen and from there uh, we can divvy ourselves up so this is kind of a cool way to go in with your EA Sports Hockey League buddies and create your own session um, and invite everybody into it from here if you don't want to invite your friends to to a game and you just want to create a random uh, session and let anybody come in you just press X and it'll bring up the settings and from here you can select how many people you want in your uh, in your room and from there you can go and create your session so press A and it will create your session um, and from here then you just wait for people to come in and join this session anyone who searches who does a, a quick rank search will find me in here and they can come in and join so it's, then from here you can do your regular stuff you can um, change your teams by pressing Y, you can change your jerseys by pressing X, uh, the typical stuff that's in there. So I'm going to back out of here, and I'm going to take you into uh, what we had last year, which is kind of the long way. So remember, OTP, uh, or Online Team Play Community, that's a shortcut right into the lo OTP lobby room. The, the way we had it set up last year was we had a lobby, and this lobby has all kinds of different rooms in it. Um, okay, It's based on skill level, uh, there's lounges where people can go in, and you can, it's based on region, uh, there's geography, and then there's game modes. And within game modes, we have ver we have online team play right here. So this is the first online team play room. If there's 
more than 50 people in there, we're going to spawn a new room and it'll be called online team play number two. But basically, um, right here, you can see how many guys are in the online team play room looking for a game. And what happens when you select this, it shortcuts you back to the online team play uh, lobby room. So basically we're where we would just were, but it's just another way to get there that you're probably more familiar with from last year. So there's two ways to get into it. Um, and then from here I can do the same thing. I can create a session um, or I can decide to invite my friends. So uh, to recap everything real quick, that's basically how you can get into an OTP game. There's three ways. You can go to online game modes and you can select online team play. You can go to community and you can select the shortcut to online team play community and that'll take you directly into the OTP lobby room and from there you can invite your friends or you can create your own session and that's a good way to invite your, your buddies from the EA Sports Hockey League team and you can all get into, uh, into a, your own private session and potentially and practice against each other. And then the last way, which is the way it was last year, you go into the lobby and from the lobby you select game modes and from here you select the OTP room and then that'll take you back to uh, the online team play lobby room where you can create a session or you can invite your buddies. So there you have it, OTP, uh, real quick, hope you guys enjoy it, one of my favorites, uh, it's always a favorite to get out there and play against a whole bunch of human controlled players. Um, so yeah, enjoy it this year guys.